Advent is holding a VIP of some value to the Resistance, and the Spokesman has asked us to move in and attempt a rescue operation. We're expecting heavy resistance at the site, and the aliens have had extensive air support moving in that region that'll keep Firebrand grounded. Lock down the area, eliminate all hostile contacts, and secure the VIP. Thank you, Bradford. And this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world. And Operation Frostfall is ahead of us at the Advent Security Zone in Adelaide. And this VIP we're looking to rescue, I believe, is an engineer, a much needed engineer. Being a lib mission, we didn't have the greatest timer. We over infiltrated. They're vulnerable, seven to nine. And we only have a team of four, however, and one solo laser weapon and not probably the ideal team I would have picked out if I had everybody available to choose from we're assault heavy on this one which means you know early on uh, we risk if we decide we need to use that running gun we we could activate pot we're gonna really have to be careful on this one let's get down there and see if we can continue our flawless streak of one mission and <laughs> and increase that to two in a row Menace 1 5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay, the confirmed location here is our evac point. Let's go find out exactly where, where the VIP is. It's more over here. It would appear, yeah, he, he's down below somewhere in here in a jail cell. So the good news is the evac zone isn't hideously far away from the jail cell, uh, except we are somewhat far away and we're gonna have to try to motor it relatively fast because we all know the once the reinforcements start going that can be challenging here it can be challenging so I think what we got to do is I don't think because we don't get good vision down below for citizens I don't think we have Drummix go first because if I'm gonna be exposed I don't want it to be Drummix I want to at least have someone remaining sneaky so, Felipe, can you come down uh, this way to look over the railing? Affirmative. Moving out. And let's get a sense on if anybody seems to be down below. And unless they're packed right next to the building, I think we'll be okay. Nothing on this first move. Uh, let's just go see if I have somebody who can get in a blue move all the way downstairs. And a blue jay, are you mobile enough to do that? Yeah, we can get somebody down below. It'll be right by a door, so it won't be open. So uh, let's do your first, first move here. Then I totally will be feeling uh, uh, comfortable, for the most part, that uh, we can bring our Seven shinobi down. Okay. No screaming memes on the ground on this one. So, Drumex, would you like to start doing your job now as we try? Because uh, it's a 7 to 9 vulnerable mission, is how our over infiltration, the intel we spent, has got it down to. Now, we have a hacky tower right in the middle of where we need to go, so there's a chance. Should I decide to go? I may decide to go around. Stay off to the side of the hacky tower, and it doesn't look like... Oh, is that a door? That looks like it could be a door. Potential open door. <laughs> uh, let's come down blue move at a time, okay, and then we'll go from there. There is nothing seen, because I was able to tab right through that move. So I think what we're going to do is kind of come over... Well, I kind of want to see down that way, so I guess I'll bring you right here. Okay. Finally! And we have Drone that service. pesky, annoying, alone drone, which, if you had been anybody else, would have seen you. And uh, if you... It, it, fortunately, there's no windows on this side of the building, except right here, so let's hope it doesn't fly straight through this window to expose us. That would be... Kind of icky. Not, not, not the way I want to start. H11. Roger that. Uh, we'll push you up here. Blue Jay, 
And finally, Sectoid will run you right here. Understood. And now, is this an early exposed position? No, we got lucky for a change. But we do know there's a drone on that side of the building now. It could easily come up and over and expose us that way. We have a very small alleyway here between the buildings. And, uh, of course, there's a citizen down there, too. So if we come out this way, we're following a drone, which will slow us down. So I guess we risk the center move and having the drone expose us down in the center. Holy smokes. It's never easy. It's never perfect situation now, is it? So I can bring you here, yes, and then we'll still be able to jump over there if, if it's deemed safe. So, uh, Drummix, take our first peek here. Yes, and yes. And we don't see anything right away. So we have access to the roof to be able to get down in there to rescue our guy. And that could be a tricky position. Now we know we got a drone back here that's coming down this way. Will he continue that way or will he turn right up on us and ruin everything? I guess we'll find out because I want to keep moving and see what's a little farther forward. Looks like we rolled a random encounter. Yes, we did. And we got a quick peek and... I don't know what kind of looked engineerish y and uh, potential scoutish y, but I am guessing on the exact class on one of those. So, hmm. We're still hidden. So, part of me is saying, let's push it. We can get a flamethrower. Well, we, th this far, going around the hacky tower. And that doesn't seem like a bad position. If the drone comes our way initially, it wouldn't expose us immediately coming through that alley, I don't think. It would have to be able to move pretty far. It moved over this pretty far and have to come it'd have to be coming pretty far that way to, to, to find us. And I'm gonna take that chance, because I may want somebody else here. And uh, that may want somebody else would be you, except you can't make it that far. Can our other... I don't know if either of you will quite make it that far. No, not without stepping out here. So, we'll just play it safe and bring you guys forward. We can get you that far and I'll have someone right behind you, apparently. Let's do this. I'm hearing a mech out there. I am hearing a mech out there. And these guys, Engineer, oh, Gunner. Okay, Engineer Gunner. Looks like it could very well be our activation uh, that we start with. I could come this far for a potential flamethrower. Oh, surprise, surprise. We might not want to activate just this way. Oh, lordy, lordy. So he's up on the roof with who who knows what else. Uh, that could potentially be up to five enemies we're dealing with, if that's a pot of three and not a pot of two. And then making too much noise, you know there's a drone very nearby too. So all of a sudden I'm not feeling super confident about our positioning. And I'm starting to feel... Like, maybe, if I did a flame opener, then I don't have much in the way of uh, help on this guy. So what I'm thinking is, is maybe a rocket up top, if we can reach up there. Let's see what kind of scatter we get. 0.5 scatter. I guess uh, we try to go here. It doesn't let me place it here. It makes me have to place it right here, and it could technically scatter right off the <laughs> right off the ledge there. <sighs> well, 
Well, we shredded and didn't do much damage to the mech. It did fall, though, so there's not much left as far as health goes on the mech. Now, I don't know what else was up there, unless this was a pot of three to open with, and the mech was attached to these two guys all along, and so this is all I'm dealing with. That could very well be. And if that could very well be, I can come here. Hmm. I don't think trench gun helps us that far, but at least we get a shot here. I'm going over there. And let's just at least check it out. Oh wow. We have a chance to do double damage here, my friends. And the double damage didn't do double damage. It missed on the gunner. So uh, it essentially was just like it would have been. Now the problem is, uh, if I come over here to finish you off by perhaps doing a running gun, and a grenade would not be a guarantee, uh, which, which would mean uh, more than likely I have to wake up my shinobi and uh, get rid of our hidey skills that we would have. So if I bring you a running gun right here, we're taking out the gunner, and then I'm hoping you drummix will not activate somebody, but odds are having to go that far. Well, let's find out if you're going to activate somebody by coming run and gun here, because we'll still see in the window then, and that'll at least let me know what I have to worry about with Drummix. So let's uh, get her going. Our other, sh our other assault will still have his run and gun. We'll see if we activate. There's a very good close. chance, and that was always the risk with this particular team. Location confirmed. And uh, no. I think we take out the gunner. And we get some loot, which is nice. And we get a stock. A basic old, not a very good vulture stock. Now, it starts thinking, uh, dedication, oh that's, that's that perk I picked up that I've learned I don't care that much for. So we're going to come down here and flesh moving as little far forward as we can. We get a sense already that looking in the window is okay. But you know, two hexes farther could just be the difference to activate another pod. Uh, we're going live, no more Heidi Heidi. The only good news about that is we are near the prisoner now. In fact, he's down inside here somewhere where we gotta rescue him hard to tell. In fact, maybe he's on the second story. So there's two stories to this place, and it would appear he's upstairs. So that's that's going to be our next move, is getting up this pole, as long as you know what. We don't activate. Well, the other thing we could do... Who is your bond mate again? Oh, I think it's... Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to let you... It's not good enough bond for an extra action, just extra movement. So here we go. Cross your fingers. It's party time! No one should die like this. Except you, of course. And we found well, another drone directly. off in the distance. So there are two lone drones. We know kind of where the other one is. We haven't totally found it. And uh, this one is like trying to egg us on to coming over. So part of me is thinking, let's all go up. Let's get up and see if there's a way to drop in. If there's a open something or other here, what we'd be able to do is come up here and overwatch against the drone potentially coming at us and play it that way as he rises up to chase us up here. 
And the only thing is, we could have company. You know, we could have company up here. Let's find out. I guess that'll be okay. And we see the company. In fact, the snakes are on the roof. They indeed are on the roof. Well, they indeed were on the roof. They decided to play Heidi Heidi, and one of them is a Naha, Naja, however you want to say it. And he's down on the ground level. So his ability to uh, snipe at us long distance is not amazingly great. So that's six, seven, eight when you count the two drones. So part of me feels like I could because can he, I don't know that he can move and move and shoot. And I'm afraid to, to work and going over there because his friends may drop down. So uh, yes, we could slash a snake. Do I still just do what I thought we'd do to begin with and run everybody up? Now I also have a running gun with you if I feel like I want to and I could shotgun the guy, and it's not... It doesn't clearly look like we have windows through here that we would have to worry about. The question is, will it be enough? Are you up to it, Sectoid? Can you blast through? Because you do not have AP ammo. Well, let's find out if you're up to it. All right. Oh my god, you missed. Oh no. Good kill. I am getting so <laughs> This will do. Time to move. I'm getting amazing blood pressure spikes when we get those animation delays. I was like, how? How? After, ever since that last episode where we missed on a 99% miss, or hit chance, uh, I get a little nervous with those slight stutters, those slight delays. Now we have to hope the Naja cannot reach us and find us. We do have to worry about these snakes down below coming up above here to try and get us. So part of me is like, uh, let's get up here. Think about overwatching. Uh, I, I really do not feel... I feel good about coming in here and slicing this guy. But we know there's there's a way for them to get down here. So, yeah, I guess it looks like he came down and came through this window. Is what it, so they would be able to go outside and come through the window just as easily as he did to get us. So uh, we are not taking care of the snake anytime soon. What I'm going to do is bring you here, Drummix. Not excited? Well, not excited. Y'all, that is that ends up being full cover if they come up going for us. Got it! And the thing I was thinking, can we get a flashbang through that opening? I mean, I don't know where they are down there. Uh, so I don't, I don't think that that's reliable. It looks like we can get something down in there, but I don't know exactly where they are down there. And I, I would hate to have it go to waste. You know, <laughs> you know. So what we're gonna end up doing, Blue Jay, you won't be able to be on over. <coughs> Excuse me, Overwatch. So we'll try to get you in, and they may just spit at us. I think they were that kind of snake. But even with spit, I think we'd uh, be able to come back and... Hmm. I'm feeling super comfortable and super safe with our position here. So, you know, uh, your Overwatch really wouldn't do much anyway. We're going to try. 
we're gonna play this weird little game to see if we can get it through this hatch and get some surprises down on that second level. Rise! Ah, look at that. Two disoriented snakes. Will it be enough? I guess time will tell. On Overwatch! And guess what? Those snakes didn't do nothing. Of course, we don't know where the Naja is now. We don't know what they're doing down in there. And we aren't close enough to see. So I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, getting us all up high. Problem is getting you up high for an overwatch. Doesn't much help us. Hmm. Well, it, 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 it no, because I can't throw another, well we get, we have plenty of flashbangs. That, that's not lacking. That's not a problem for us. We just don't know where, the problem is we gotta, at some point, jump down in there and see what we're dealing with. So I, I'm hesitant on where, now where could I move you? Well, guess what? Why don't we play a game of hide and seek and we're going to bring you down kind of towards, yeah, you'd be at the corner by the window. And if we're lucky, we can get them burning if we're lucky. We don't know where they could be down here. We really, really don't. That looks like a, a, a structure, uh, like a sofa, whatever it might be. And is there any other buildings of any kind? So I guess if this does not work, and let's hope they're not on Overwatch, uh, that's a scary thought. I'll tell you what. So I, I want to do the looky loo move. No, I don't have any. I don't have any looky loos that have uh, lightning reflexes right now. run any overwatch so maybe uh, I could run you past the opening but then you're stuck on the edge for who knows what so I'll tell you what blue jay let's um, are you telling me you can't see blue jay to do a teamwork the drumix I don't know why you can't see him and because we didn't spend the teamwork yet did we now? We thought about it before. That should not have taken it away from me. Oh, you're behind full cover. That's why you can't see him. Well, I think uh, we can we can fix that and keep you behind full cover. Problem is, it does not help you be supportive in any way over there. So this is this is what we're gonna do. Yep. And we are going to do the teamwork. This is my thinking, and I hope... You can do it, man! I believe in you! <laughs> With a pep talk like that, Blue Jay. So what I'm thinking is... The extra move gets us here, and by only coming here, if they're on Overwatch, that won't make it fire? Let's find out. Move it to designated and uh, they were not on Overwatch and I am thinking uh, two snakes if I come over to this corner in case there's a Naha down there trying to set up a sniping position I can uh, roast these two I hope let's find out yep I can do that it's uh, very important that they burn for us. It's very important that they burn or panic or both of the above. Firing incendiary. They're both burning. 
They both do not have a guarantee of burning out, though. One of them panicked. So they, 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 I think they burn, what, one or two per turn? Or can they burn even more than that? They can burn as few as one for two turns. So there's no guarantee either of them burns out. So with that in mind, I'm getting us all to the point. And guess what? Oh, no. Well, at the moment, we could get down here without burning. But if the fire spreads, boy, will we burn. So let's hope the, the, the burning does not spread awkwardly for us. Is there another way to drop down from above? Possibly over here, but that's all the way down here, and then we probably drag the other drone into it. So, I'm bringing you up close sectoid with the hopes that we can jump down next turn. And finish the snakes off. And, uh, Felipe, what I may do, since they're burning and not a threat, we're going to see if we can get you down here. And let's get a better sense of where the fire is. And it looks... Uh, seems like it's burning there. You could end up getting trapped. And therefore burning, unless we can get out the window before it spreads. But at least we would have your shot down here next time. And we're not seeing a, a sniping snake down there yet. And I can't bring you over here. There's not a lot of great spots to bring you. We're, uh, this is... very risky to be quite honest it's very very risky so maybe I don't bring you down there and we just hope that the fire burns more clearly next turn on whether we can go down there or not I'm trusting you here I guess we'll find out uh, I'm gonna just reload you is there is there we, we got ways that that other snake could climb up so you got enough ammo for the moment let's overwatch come and get some hey take a look at this and he fled very fast it's dead it has to be dead now the question is, whoa, something blew through the floor here. Did the other snake die from that? Was there something explosive around here that, 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 that did that? There's nothing else that should have died down there and dropped anything unless it's, ah, I don't know. Uh, now maybe we can find out on a blue move what's down here and take a peek at the loot. I'm not getting, I, I see these wavy things. Uh, hopefully that's just fire related. So this guy's up here. There's another one. So something exploded. I don't know what it was, but something exploded. So maybe this guy is the one that dropped down and the Naja's, Naja is still down there. Is that the way it is? Well, we're going to have you peek over the edge here, Drummix, as you pick up the loot. Yeah. Ooh, yeah that's a little ooh, better pickup of the Illyrium Core and an advanced laser sight. So both snakes are burned out on us, and something was down here that exploded. And now we just got to find ourselves another snake somewhere. And it would be nice... We do not have run and gun there. And we have one more turn for run and gun here, so I'm not feeling very tempted to run down there. And the only way to get around here to free our prisoner is through the flames. So I'm kind of thinking, uh, Blue Jay, well, you may have to be the one to come over here, take a peek. Okay. 
We aren't seeing anything yet. Let's get a sense on uh, where the door is. It looks like the door is over here. This is the one. And we're going to move you there so you can hack next turn. Moving on target location. I was going to say, that would have been a bad time for that other drone to have come in the picture. After I moved, I, I kind of thought about that. Okay, we're committed now. Let's set everybody else up to be ready to look for a snake. There's one more snake out there, as far as I'm concerned. We're going to need some of our running guns to return. Yours is coming first. H11, so I'm going to put you here, so depending on where we find the guy, in fact, we'll come to the corner to get more vision over this way. What's over there? And we're not seeing a snake. We're kind of going to have you join him, Sectoid, even though yours is a, a turn further away. I'm going that way. But uh, the snake is going to have a rude surprise if he tries coming up any of these poles. The thing is, I just have no clue where he is. So, let's overwatch. And somehow it says you're active. We haven't even hacked, but uh, our prisoner can come out. So... I mean, let's uh, bring our prisoner out. We didn't even have to hack on that one. I think I'll keep our prisoner here and probably hunkered. We'll overwatch with everybody else who remains. You know what's better than not getting hit? Affirmative. Covering now. And we know where the snake is. Good hit. On the margins. And uh, no overwatch, nothing terrible like that. Uh, we are exposed, but the only other thing we know that's out there potentially is that drone. So let's do this. Snake has dropped. Like a boss. Looting time. This is this is good. Th th this is good. I, I guess I shouldn't sound so surprised, but this is good. Uh, our VIP can make it this far uncrouched. And I just with that knowing there's a drone out there, I just want to run you as far as we can. Apparently we did not expose the drone. And about the only thing left we have to do is get downstairs. And do we have a way to get downstairs without burning ourselves? And it looks like this would be a way to do it. If you say so. And it looks it's like heavier we, oh. than it looks. Two more Illyrium cores. We keep picking up Illyrium cores at this pace. You know, y'all can lay off me for selling them now and then. <laughs> How about that? Uh, let's come over here. Okay, I'll go. Let's get everybody moving over in that direction. In fact, Blue Jay, let's find out if you can drop down yourself. Yes, you can. Affirmative. And we got one more to get down here. In fact, I'll just bring you here. And uh, Overwatch. Sure. And then we may, just may, be in range to get Keep the hay out of here. here. And that lone drone never showed up. So it's going to be iffy. Let's go find out if our engineer has civilian mobility. And yes, it does. Or I should say, yes, she does, Phoebe. Let's see if everybody else has the mobility to get out of here. And let's get moving uh, and getting out of here. That's hard. Move, move, move. Hopefully. And our team of four, there were some moments of potential stress, but our team of four came through in shining fashion. Let's go. 
Now let's roll up! This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. We did it. We did what I wanted. We did what I was hoping for. Operation Frostfall. They're the ones that fell on this one. We, on the other hand, continuing with the F theme of this mission, were flawless. And uh, somebody dragged out that sofa again. I think uh, we're going to get rid of uh, the sofa. And, well, the pedestal. Which one is the sofa? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, there's the you. You were the one carrying the sofa. Drumix figures, and then Felipe, you're now sitting on a non-existent sofa. And the problem is, we got somebody's uh, lounging face in the background that we can't see. So maybe we just get a Drumix. Can you crouch? There we go. If we're crouched, we can see everybody. And in fact, we can even zoom in a little. Are you ready for your close-up? Phoenix 8 divided by 2. Harden your heart against those who would harm the union between humanity and the elders. They are no longer your brothers and sisters. They rejected us all the moment they stood against the elders. All right, thank you for a nice short speech, speaker. And uh, I think this mod that gives all these, or the T, or, or the, the, there were no mathematicians on this <laughs> game because wasn't our last new record over five? Uh, for damage done and now it's saying 4.73 is our new record so uh, I, I do not trust the math but it looks nice anyway Felipe you did the most damage you did the most attacks and the one that moved the furthest I'm guessing drew oh blue jay blue jay was the speedy one today Never had any doubts about your capabilities, Commander. Excellent work as always. And we kept Marcus Joy busy rotating yet again through the paint jobs. Uh, we're not going to be able to do that much longer because he uh, will be ready for the Psy program once that. We're getting closer and closer to it. Good promotions here. We promote above Sergeant for the. Is this, is this the first one above Sergeant? Let's find out. I think it might be, and we pick up a little blade storm. Uh, I like the idea of that perk. And the only AP that we have remaining. Oh, we picked this one up. Oh, that's right. I picked this up, and in my mind, it wasted <laughs> some of our AP that we accumulated. Fortunately, you have high combat intelligence, so either overkill and or zone of control. We'll be able to pick those up. Even uh, We'll see. Not all of the above, but one and or two of them could still be in play. So there you go. Congratulations, Drumix. And then, uh, Sectoid, good job. You're up to Sergeant now, I do believe. Yes, indeedy. Killer Instinct is on the table. And Killer Instinct is activating Run and Gun Grants plus... 50% crit damage for the rest of the turn. And well, you know, we love our run and gun. So uh, we are going to. In fact, the next condition after this one is lowering the run and gun cooldown. So these are a nice pair to be picking up. Uh, we'll take this one first and uh, be anxiously awaiting your next promotion for the extra conditioning. And I really only kind of felt that two of these perks for your kind of a character, shots fired with your shotgun, pierce three armor, I think between the explosives we have and the basic shredding others will have picked up. Stiletto for that cost it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, hopefully I won't regret that, but I, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking there. 
So I'm, I'm thinking about going ahead, pulling the... Oh, I can't quite, I can't quite afford it yet. It's, uh, it goes 10-20, not 10-15, uh, like the pistol. Or 5-10-15, however that works. So we'll hold off on zone of control. I do like the idea of it. All enemies within your five-tile radius of you suffer penalties to aim and mobility. Kind of maybe helps us when we make that oops move with your running gun. I kind of like it. All right, good job, team. Let's go look at all our loot totaled up. An advanced laser sight to help our crit damage. Illyrium core, count it, five of those. A base stock, which I think we have enough of at the moment, but probably sellable. And a nice advance expanded magazine uh, increases the clip size by two, not just one. So that was, uh, we, we got some nice pickups here. And we got somebody that we needed drastically. In fact, uh, drastically, we can speed up. We got that going as fast as we can. We got the, I might as well just put you in on the lab. And then once these two things are done, we're gonna go all out on some, some more machinery down here. All right, lab's down to two days. We saved a day by putting our engineer in there. That's the kind of difference an engineer can make. Now, we have somebody new in the armory that we named and added to the team, so let's go take a peek at our new soldier we picked up last time. And the drawing from the hat gave us, drum roll please, as I scroll down to find this individual, and there we go. It's Paul Forrest Reynolds that's joined the team now. And actually, I thought your gun had a different color. Let me let me fix that. I know when I was looking at it, it sure did. Yeah, it seemed like it was more that to, to match the camo. That's the way I remembered it. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it should have been. Uh, and I must have missed that somehow when I imported you. So you won the drawing. There's only a handful left out there. And then as soon as we get the the Psy stuff going, I'm going to focus on hiring the last few that we have to recruit also to get everybody into the playthrough at that point. So uh, Paul Forrest Reynolds, let's take a look at, well, there's your skills right there. Mobility is base 16. Aim is 69. And this is uh, your promotions. We got a couple available because you come to us as a corporal. And uh, I've decided that on you, what we're going for is an officer build, to be quite honest, for Paul Forrest Reynolds. We're going kind of a rapid deployment, uh, kind of a support grenadier. We don't have one of those yet. And protector, well, these are our first two. We'll look at those. So you get to launch a support grenade at no cost. So it's like a free... A free grenade, a free flashbang. Anything that's considered a support grenade. And you know what else is considered a support grenade? Frost bombs. So there's some incentive for, for us to get those. In fact, um, if I pick up Protector, which we're going to do right now, at least I think frost bombs are support. But if not, it doesn't matter because uh, by picking up Protector, non damaging grenades, and yes, that does include the frost grenades. I, I, I think I've tried this before, so it does include them. Uh, that gives me two frost grenades. So that, that's pretty cool with that perk, I do believe. Now your soldier AP that you start with, uh, we could actually pick one of these two. I marked bring them on. And the reason I marked bring them on, because you might th say you're a grenadier, but the last line is, works for the soldier's assault rifle and explosives. So for en every enemy we see, you get an extra tick of damage on critical hits. And so what's going to be important is one of these allows critical hits somewhere I thought. I could be totally, totally wrong. I think there's a perk. I'm going to have to relook at this because I, I could have sworn there's one that allows crit hits. Yes. So I want to mark this one too. 
because if I end up picking and choosing bring them on, I definitely want this perk over the sting grenades. And the flashbang, uh, not a bad one either. Your flashbang grenades have a 50% chance to stun enemies for one turn in the flashbang's area of effect. Uh, I'd be giving that up for a chance at extra damage on my grenades here. It's a tough one. It's a tough one because I lose the, the extra damage by not having the needle grenades because we're support. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. I have it marked so we can, we can debate and think about that coming up. Now's not the time. If you have ideas about it, let me know in the Discord or down below in the comments here of this video. So there we go. Let's uh, get back out there. Let's kind of get a little bit of a status. Our, our ready and available is uh, much better right now. As a matter of fact, I have two individuals that I, I think I'm ready. My two of my rookies down here. If I can... Uh, well, my rookies are spread up. Let's put them together so I can look at my rookies together. I'm not... I'm putting uh, Dan Stubbs Locutus into uh, training... And I'm putting a Teddy Husky Good Boy into training. We're going to keep Justine out with the tube coming up. And, of course, Marcus Nameless Joy, we're going to hold you back for the tube. So we'll have two Psy candidates right off the bat. I'll have another, at least another one Psy candidate that we're going to hire. And uh, Teddy and Dan are going into training. So let's get to that right here. And Dan, I had decided, let me look at my notes. I did some thinking about this outside of the recording, and I decided to make you a technical. We only have, believe it or not, there's only two technicals out there right now. And uh, I think I like working with at least a third, and that's what you're going to become. And then our other soldier, and that's Teddy Husky Good Boy. I decided I do, after, especially after having one of us kidnapped, I thought with your hacking scores being at least decent, uh, I was going to make you a specialist. And you guys are in training, soon to be seen on the battlefield. And uh, just one final reminder, uh, I'm not aware that I have any backstories remaining. Uh, if you think I've missed you or if you've submitted a backstory and I haven't read it, please share it with me again. Go to the Discord. We have a whole section just for the backstories. And if you're feeling creative, add it right in there and I'd be happy to share it on any upcoming episode. So... Looks like we are now getting back out there. Let's go see what we can find out here. And we have the supplies we're picking up here. First of all, we'll finish that because we're going to need them soon. Well, guess what? We have another mission ready. So we didn't get our supplies quite yet. <laughs> but we're going to get more supplies by successfully doing this a smash and grab. It is a revealed start. Let's look at the team that's going to be doing it. Five-man team. This is the one I remember now. I said one of the rare times I couldn't get out a team of six. So this will be the time we get six crates, and I can't pick them all up either. So either we blow one up or something happens where I don't get a chance to get them all. So let's see. I, I won't be upset this time if there's only four out there <laughs> to pick up. We got the frog out there as our shinobi to scout things out since everybody else will start revealed. Uh, we got Avaroth as our Grenadier. He's the bond mate with Frog. We got Zigzag. Commander Zigzag is going on this one. His bond mate Nefertiti is our Assault. And our Ranger will be Alex Boomer Shrapnel on this one. And do we have any... I think I got one for myself. Greedy Zigzag. Uh, I stole it from our injured <laughs> machine hater. <laughs> See, don't get injured in this game. <laughs> We're going to take your stuff. So this is the team going out next time, and I hope we'll be successful between uh, that point of interest we're searching for supplies and this smash and grab. Uh, we will have what we need to build what we need, at least for a moment, till we spend it all. But we'll have to see if we, we do that next time. 
I hope you enjoyed today's mission. I'm thrilled that it was flawless again. So this is Zigzag Zug signing off from somewhere in this world. I want to thank you so much for watching. Click on the link to the next episode once it's released. And I uh, hope to see you next time.